Gamer slings are pretty great. And I think that there's two out there specifically for me that I think work really well, whether you need a camera sling for downtown errands, maybe as a carry on for your trip, or maybe you're just going to a quick photo shoot, or just going to take some quick photos, you need to bring a little bit of items for your camera, a little bit of items for every day, maybe on a small hike, whatever it might be. If you're not trying to bring a whole camera bag, I think camera slings are pretty great. And so what I want to do is compare my two personal favorite, the Wandered Rome Sling and the Peak Design Camera Sling. Let's get into it. Okay, so real quick, off the rip, these are two very similar bags that have some very unique differences. From organization, materials, comfort, and what they can hold is kind of what I want to point. If you're looking for a good intro camera sling, I think these two are a great spot to start. This is available on Peak Design's website in a 3, 6, and 9 liter. I want to say, and this is available for pre-order on Wandered site, shipping in February, I believe, in a 3, 6, and 9 liter as well. They're roughly got some same stripes. Now, what I have here is the 6 liter from Wandered and the, I believe it's either 9 or 10 liters from Peak Design. I think 10 liters. It says it right in there if I just had opened my eyes. So 10 liter and a 6 liter. I also have a the 9 liter from Wandered coming in in February, so I'll probably do a separate review on that. But I just wanted to quickly talk about both of these slings. So start with the Peak Design right now. If you just need something simple, kind of large and easy, this is very minimal. You've got your main compartment on the inside here, which can fit full length camera here. Now, I have in here, what I usually would take is my Sony A6400 with a lens, and then I would usually bring my drone and then the accessories for my drone. That is typically what I would do, and maybe I would throw like my uh, portable, like mobile filmmaker kit on the top, but it fits those items really well. And I like these internal dividers for Peak Design because they have the ability to kind of fold the flap down and make like a little shelf to put extra small items. Maybe like if you're bringing my Rode wireless mics that I use, maybe I'd put them right there. And that's kind of it for the internal. You have a nice pocket up here at the top that works really well for batteries, camera batteries. Now I bring a little pouch for my batteries and SD cards, and I would utilize the front pocket, which I'll show you here in a second, for those items. But if you didn't want to and you want to just have your camera items all right here at the top, it works really well. I like it. It's also just good if you wanted to put like other small items. You don't have to necessarily utilize that spot for what it is intended for. You can put whatever you want. And then one more thing is here on the back, you can fit a small tablet or a small laptop in here. I believe up to a 13 inch if I'm not mistaken. And it works really well. And that's kind of what you get in the main compartment. You also have these nice weather guard YKK zips up here at the top. And then you have this nice front compartment. And all this front compartment is is exactly that. It's just a nice little spot to kind of put some items, a flat spot up at the top of the bag. And that's it. And then it would works really well. And then you have this nice strap that is super easy to adjust with their nice little buckle here that they have. I love this very comfortable strap, very minimal, nice foam, very light. You also got a nice carrying strap, which could double if you wanted to put this on a roller luggage. I have seen people do that. The Peak Design Sling, and what I like about it is if you just need something to put your camera gear in, like a main compartment, and that's it. Just kind of like a grab and go. You know exactly what you need to bring. I'm bringing my camera, bringing some extra lenses, bringing some accessories. Let's go to the shoot and let's just have at it. You don't have to think too much, it's not like, little spots for everything. It's really a grab and go kind of thing. And I, I like that. I think it's perfect for those people that don't need a lot of extra organization, but still need something kind of large to carry your stuff. Unlike the Wandered Rome Sling, which on the other hand, I feel like is great for those people that want that extra organization and want to have a spot to kind of put everything to stay better organized. You have a nice compartment here at the front. And again, the materials on the Wandered is that tarpaulin with YKK weather guard zips. I trust this sling a lot more than this sling in the elements because of the materials this is made out of. Now, with that being said, the, the pink design one still has great materials that are water resistant and YKK zips. I just trust this one a tad bit more. Not that you want to get stuck in a rainstorm with either of these, but on the front here, it's the same kind of concept, just a nice little flat compartment, nothing crazy, nothing too out there, weather guard zip on it. You also, unlike the Peak Designers, have straps here at the front. These buckles are great for small gorilla pods or maybe a small regular tripod, maybe something larger on the outside. And then on the bottom here, you also have 
this, which opens up, which can be used for like a water bottle. This is where I usually put my Gorilla Pod, things like that kind of out of the way. Now I will say, and I should have said this up top, I have full in-depth reviews. I will link them below on both of these if you want me to go into more detail. Those are the videos I would recommend. This is just kind of a quick overview of both these bags before we get into the comparison side of things. On the main compartment in here, it's kind of the same thing. I'm able to fit the exact same thing I fit in that 10 liter my drone and my drone accessories with my Sony camera. It's just a little bit different. In this main compartment, I can usually put the drone and my camera right in there. And then behind that is where I usually would put the extra stuff for the drone. Now, this also has the cool ability where right here, you can actually unzip the bottom of this bag and it becomes a spot. They sell like a little sleeve you can put your camera up to a 13 inch camera can just kind of fit in here or not camera laptop can just fit in here or tablet and you have an ability with this small sling to then also carry a laptop now here's the thing and your mileage may vary but when it comes to camera slings i'm not typically worried about bringing tech gear usually if i'm bringing just a camera sling it means that there's a something that's pretty much strictly involving photography. I'm not gonna need my laptop. I'm not gonna need a lot of tech gear. I'm probably just gonna need this for the photo shoot, the photos, maybe the hike, something like that. I'm not typically a fan of combining a camera sling with tech gear. I just find it not to be uh, super necessary. So what's the biggest difference between both of these? Well, for one, they all come in similar sizes. So if you're worried about maybe needing something smaller, maybe need something larger, but you like one of these in particular, there are different sizes. Like I said, 369, and I wanna say like 3610 on this one, something along those lines. Great, either, both of them kind of keep the same organization and the same functions and materials and things like that as you go sizes. The biggest difference is with the Wander 3 liter, you are sacrificing a lot of the organization. It's just becoming more of like a three liter fanny pack than anything. Whereas with the Peak Design, you just get a smaller size, so you'll be able to bring less camera gear or more camera gear, depending on which way you go with these. So if you're looking for something with better organization, the Wandered Sling is hands down gonna be better because it has a spot for everything. It has the ability to bring things on the outside, on the inside, to convert, to be able to bring a laptop or a tablet, plenty of organization on the inside, and it's large enough to still bring your camera gear. Whereas the Peak Design one, it's a main compartment for all your camera gear, and then minimal, very minimal organization on the inside for extra accessories. And then you also can get like attachment straps for this to carry like a tripod and stuff. But I can tell you right now, it does not work as well as the built-in one that is on the Wander. So materials, comparing those, they're about the same in terms of comfort. I like the tarpaulin on the Wander Sling a little bit more because I'm always kind of a fan of that like rubbery tarpaulin material. But the material in the Peak Design functions just as well. Comfort wise, they both do an exceptional job. I like the Wandered Sling. I think it's got a great little foam padding here. Same thing with the Peak Design. Very minimal, very foam. Both are easy to adjust, still easy to swing around. And the nice thing about both of these is they're easy to swing around in front and then open up and get exactly what you need, rip it and grip it, shoot it and do it, and then put it back in and sling it back around. They work really well, which is always the nice plus of a camera sling over a camera bag, where some camera bags have that nice side access. This gives you full access when you sling it around to everything that you brought for the camera gear as opposed to that one little door on your camera bag. So ultimately, what both of these are gonna come down to is what fits your particular needs. If you need something to just carry your gear with very little to no organization, the Peak Design is a good one. But if you need something with a little bit more organization, a little bit more versatility, maybe something that's not only gonna be a camera sling, maybe something you're gonna bring a little bit of a hybrid, then I would say the Wandered one is probably better for you. The one thing that I think is the downside to the Peak Design is outside from being a camera bag, even though this is advertised as like an everyday sling, I feel like outside of the camera functions, it doesn't work very well as a larger day sling. Whereas with the Wandered ones, if you took those dividers out, I feel like because of the organization and because of the way this is built, it works a little bit better for everyday needs outside of camera. Now again, that's just a personal opinion. It's going to be mileage may vary for you regardless which one of you pick. But I think that if you're leaning and looking for a camera sling, regardless of what it's used for, regardless of your experience with photography or how much you're into it, 
I think both of these are a great starting point. 150 for a nice 10 liter sling that can carry all of your gear or a six liter or six or nine or three, somewhere in that range if you're looking for something to carry your camera gear. I think both of these, not only are these both two brands that I absolutely love and adore, I think they're two brands that speak for themselves. Wandered has a plethora and a backlog of amazing products that I've reviewed on this channel. And the same with Peak Design. They have great products across the board. Even their small accessories, their small pouches, their small camera accessories that they have are phenomenal. Peak Design is doing wonderful things and so are Wandered. So whichever one you go with, at the end of the day, you're gonna get a phenomenal bag made from great materials with great organization that has love and thought behind the design. And I love both of these. These are great. I, I use them both, but I definitely lean more towards the Wandered, but that's because I personally like a little bit more organization in any of my bags. So with that quick little comparison, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns about either the Wandered Roam or the Peak Everyday Sling, let me know in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer those for you. Um, if you guys want to, you can shoot me an email, odmatthewsbags at gmail.com. Any questions, extra comments, extra things you want to talk about or just have a chat. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, all of that good nonsense. And thank you guys for all the love and support. And I will see you next time.